Hey guys, Mars Ingen here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so today we are going to be trying out Tech Gohan against Fusion Zamasu. I really want to see how well he's going to cope with these uh, turn one AOEs, because we have Guard, and of course on the first turn we have that nice little bit of extra damage reduction. Now I thought it'd be fun to actually try a double Gohan leads, so we can get double the Gohan for our uh, money, and see how well our boy can do. So. 45k is the AoE damage. That's actually really good. Feature Gohan got the dodge as well. I'd love to see that. Um, 45k is the AoE damage. Um, not bad considering one double 170 leads instead of the 200. Um, no damage on the super though. I suppose that's going to be the case unless we crit. We did get the additional super though, and we get the hidden potential as well. I mean, this is we are getting the textbook perfect Gohan start here if we can get the hidden potential as well. Ah, uh, we got a hidden potential normal, but we got one crit, so we did actually do some damage. So now let's see, after three supers, because bear in mind we're still on the first turn, so we still have the damage reduction. Yeah, 119k. I mean, again, for double 170 leads, I would say that that is pretty good after the triple super. Now on the next turn, obviously he's not going to have the 30% damage reduction, but hopefully we can... Uh, who have we got in slot 7? Oh, it's physical Magohan. Because, yeah, we don't have any of his big, important defensive links active. Um, I have a video going up tomorrow now, I think, that we recorded earlier on the stream of getting our revenge on Saviour's Extreme Super Battle Road and seeing just how well Gohan can dominate on there. And the difference when you have Cold Judgment or All in the Family active to his defense is huge. Like, the amount of, uh, the amount of less damage he's going to take is incredibly noticeable. So... This is a very awkward turn for uh, Trunks, unfortunately. Trunks, despite having type advantage, not great against uh, the AoE from Fusion Zamasu. Um, I didn't even bring any items. Well, that's unfortunate. But now Gohan all in the family active. Of course, he takes the super straight away. That's a shame. Because I would really like to see. I think it would be double digit damage from a normal attack. But 224k... Okay, 7,000. So not quite double-digit damage, but unfortunately, as he dodges, yeah, Trunks dies to this. All right, well, we'll hop back in. <laughs> All right, so we've got the rotation with future Gohan, which means we have our, our all-in-the-family buff. Um, the AoE is after a fair few attacks. So if we do end up taking the super uh, before the AoE, um, that will activate future Gohan's damage reduction, because, yeah, we'll lose a bit of our HP here. Good that that can activate mid-turn. Uh, so yeah, this does 200k. If it's the first attack he's taking pre-super, 200k. Uh, that's with the All in the Family link active. That's not that bad, to be honest. Uh, Trunks getting the dodge there is actually huge as well. Because um, he takes a decent bit of damage, as we saw from the uh, end of the previous clip there. But Gohan, alright, we get the double super. Getting that second super is really big, right? Because he gets the extra attack as part of his passive anyway. But only has a chance to become a super. And then the next big thing is the hidden potential. Now, even if this is only a normal, so this is the hidden potential attack, but this now activates the rest of his passive. So now he gets another attack. And there you go. We get the uh, quad super turn. So that's what we like to see. Uh, Gohan getting stacks on stacks and then takes double digit damage. So definitely very good. I mean, when you get that RNG and Gohan does the four super turn, like, we'll see when we get to the next turn what his start of turn two, well, we turn three, but start of turn defense is after he's gotten that quad super turn. Um, and yeah, he's going to be looking very, very good. So, and then yeah, Trunk's going to get some attacks off here. We know he's already supered, so we don't have to worry about that. Trunk's obviously getting extra defense with each super, gets a little bit of damage reduction as well. So, yeah, after triple supering here, even remember everyone is, of course, under a double 170 lead. So, people, uh, every unit on the team going to be putting up slightly lower numbers than we would see on other builds. But still looking very, very good here. Um, and now we get to do the attacks with Gohan before the AoE as well, which is big. So, let's go ahead and do this. And we can drop. I thought they were going to drop down slightly differently. That actually means less key for Gohan overall, which is unfortunate. But we'll go ahead and do that. And then we will do... So start of turn linked up with him. All in the family, fierce battle. 217k defense. 
So I get the orbs here for go tanks. Yeah, 32k. So that's with just all in the family active and no other support on the rotation. He still takes 32k from the Zamasu normals. But now that he's going to super first, um, yeah, we get the hidden potential normal. So again, that activates his full passive. But see, there you go. That's kind of like, even with the hidden potential additional, that's the worst luck turn, right? Just getting three additional normals. So he's only done one super. Um, so how much is he taking from this then after one super attack? Uh, 188k still. Yeah, that's still quite a lot. Uh, Go Tanks definitely needs to dodge all of these attacks in the last slot here, I think. Um, we did get the initial dodge from the AoE, though, so he does have the slightly increased dodge chance. If he can get a couple of more supers as well, I think he will actually be able to eat the normals relatively well. So, I think we should be okay here, even if we don't dodge. But, I've lost a lot of HP going into this last phase here, depending on where the attacks are placed. Yeah, see, so tanks for double digits once he's got the supers off. Um, of course. Of course they are. Right, so... Uh, let's do... This. So yeah, what is his start of turn 2 defense? 700k after the quad super turn. It's a shame you don't have uh, all in the family, but... Look at the difference though, 466, and then with these extra links active, because Saiyan Lineage is uh, another 5% defense, he's got Cold Judgment and all in the family, so 700k defense in slot 1 here is crazy, but unfortunately I think uh, future Gohan dies to the AoE here. Unless we get the dodge, which would be nice. Or we get immediately supered. But with 700k defense and guard, how much is this doing to us here? Remember, we don't have the damage reduction because it's turn 2. Yeah, 163. The uh, supers do double-digit damage. And then, unfortunately, STR Future Gohan. That's close, though. 67k. Okay, okay. So, maybe we take off Future Gohan or the physical trunks. Sadly, against the AoEs, they're not the best. But Gohan definitely holding his own relatively well. Right, well, the important thing is, Gohan has been doing well. The team, not as much, but we are running double 170 lead uh, hybrid Saiyans, but I thought that would be a bit more interesting. I know Gohan's 200% teams are a bit of a weird spot for global. Um, I am going to make a video using him on the Boo team, because he does get the 200% lead from Int Boo, but it's kind of a weird team for him, because Int Boo's team definitely needs one other really good unit. Like, I don't like running Harudagan a lot because of the risk, don't like running Golden Freeze. I don't like having to run STR Super Boo. So Gohan being on that team can work. But he's obviously not going to get a lot of links active. Um, but we're definitely going to try that out for a video. Um, so we got, what was it, two Supers? So we take 130k. And of course, all the normals in the AoE being double digit damage. That's fine. Gotenks gets the dodge. That's all good. So I mean, yeah, we're pretty good for the rest of the turn here now. I put a bunch of, uh, I took off uh, LR Trunks and LR Future Gohan, put on um, Int Carnival LR Kid Gohan, and then the Int 60% Support Kid Gohan. Because um, I thought they'd be kind of interesting for the team. Hybrids, if we're just sticking to doing hybrids only, is obviously not the craziest. Now, Gohan does have Saviors as his secondary leader skill, which, um, whilst not the best category in the world, of course, does have some interesting options that you could throw on the team instead of running some of these other hybrid Saiyan characters. But, wow, the difference between Gotenks getting one super and two supers is kind of crazy, huh? The second super makes him double digit damage. All right, well, we get the full uh, turn here from you, so that's pretty good. Um, the AoE is at the end of the turn as well, which is quite nice. So we've got a lot of links active here for uh, Tech Gohan. We're not going to get hit first, so the attack stat's not going to be crazy. But I do kind of need to do that, right, just so we can get the heal. Um, which puts us in a pretty good spot here, actually. Because, of course, the Kid Gohan's going to have guard. He has the same super attack effect as the STR Kaba, where it's the attack and defense stacks for nine turns. So he's going to look pretty decent as we go through the first few turns here. Shame we didn't get an additional super, but... That's uh, a good starting point for him. 3.2 for Gohan. I mean, Gohan, his defense is what's uh, his sort of main driving force, right? His attack stat, definitely not crazy if he doesn't get hit first. But then again, this is double 170 leads, right? We've seen running him under the 200% leads. If he's getting hit first, he's dropping 7 into 8 million attack stats on turn 1. 
which is definitely very, very good. So I uh, won't fault him, right? When we have to put him in slot two and he doesn't get hit first, we're getting the lower leader skill. Um, he can definitely work out decently well here. All right, double digits for you. That's good. Uh, future Gohan, I thought maybe from the normal attack isn't going to take some damage. I guess he is post super. Yeah, see, the problem is we weren't on low HP at the time of getting attacked, so I don't know how much... Uh... Yeah, he doesn't eat that. Oof. Yeah, Future Gohan is a huge liability when you're not on low health. Damn. <laughs> okay, I switched back to the other build with the uh, Future Gohan and the Trunks, because I am just going to bring items with me for this one. Um, we've kind of already seen a lot of what Gohan can do in turn one against Fusion Zamasu. So I just kind of want to actually be able to get a little bit further in the event now, if possible. I mean, we are, like I say, setting the kind of self-imposed challenge of having only hybrids instead of uh, running him on a 200% team or including any saviors characters or anything like that. Uh, Gotenks not dodging that AoE is a huge L for us here. I thought I wouldn't need to use an item in the first turn because... We would be fine without it, but yikes. <laughs> 380k Gotenks takes from the AoE without dodging on uh, double 170 leads. That's kind of wild. I mean, at least we know Future Gohan's going to have his damage reduction active, so he's going to tank all the normals for double digit damage. Uh, we only get the double super turn from Tech Gohan. <sighs> Oof. Bit, of a, uh, bit of a spicy turn there. Now, with the 30% damage reduction he gets on turn one, by using an item, uh, Tech Gohan will essentially be invincible on this next turn. Which is good, because the rest of the rotation certainly isn't. Um, now, we've definitely been getting some seriously unfortunate luck. So I hate, another reason, I guess, why I hate the limited attempts per day for these events. Because so much more fun to jump in, maybe change the team around, try out some units that maybe we wouldn't try. But, like... Every run, if you just bring like a random unit to try them out and they get immediately evaporated on turn one, then that's one of your attempts, like wasted. So it's incredibly annoying. Um, all right, well, we've got no tech Gohan on this turn either, which is a bit of a shame when it comes to uh, what we're actually trying to do for the video. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll get an STR orb for you and then get the S. Uh, I did use the item, yep, get the physical orbs for you. Got a Yemma active. So, we should be okay here. Because, yeah, Gohan has his own damage reduction. Um, so, with the Yemma on top. Uh, neither of the Gohans on this rotation should take any damage. The only way we can kind of get caught out here is if uh, Physical Trunks at the end eats a super. But, as long as he gets a bunch of supers off, I think he should be okay. And, of course, uh, Physical Alma Gohan can always negate the super as well. He's got to dodge two normals back to back. And then doesn't dodge or negate the super. You'd love to see that. Dodges two normals back to back. I think my Gohan has, what, at most he probably has six or nine dodge. Dodges two normals back to back and then eats the super to the face. Which he not only could have dodged, has a 50% chance to negate completely as well. But didn't get any of those procs. <laughs> oh, the RNG's been all over the place for this, uh, this video, hasn't it? The game is uh, not happy about hybrids making its uh, comeback. Because remember, back when Tech Gohan was in his prime, hybrids was probably one of the best teams in the game. It could be quite slow, but it was incredibly reliable, very strong defensively. Um, and Zamasu being the uh, event that's kind of terrorized the game for a while, um, definitely doesn't like the up idea of being upstaged by the uh, 170 hybrids team, does it? But yeah, Trunks after a bunch of supers, has his own damage reduction, so with the Yemma on top, he's perfectly fine. Um, now in terms of getting the better build up for going into the later turns, I probably should just get the stacks with this Gohan, because he's the one that has some already. So he's going to be looking considerably better here. And then it's a shame that this Gohan isn't on Bond of Master and Disciple, um, because he doesn't actually get any support from the int future Gohan, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, so you take that for double digits. The My Gohan was in slot seven, so he has the 30% damage reduction. So he takes 7,400, that's not bad at all. And then this tech Gohan up to eight mil. Really need him to get some crits though, because uh, <laughs> he's not gonna be doing damage otherwise, which is a bit unfortunate. And then we get three additional normals turn, bro. 
Why would you do this to me? And then future Gohan, he has his damage reduction because we're on low HP. So, would he live a super here? I don't think he would. Uh, this is, actually, this is kind of, the way this has worked out isn't bad. Because this Gohan, it's his first turn, so he has his damage reduction. So if he can get a bunch of supers off here, if he's getting supered in slot 3, I think we'll actually be fine. So we've got two. We only got the two. Okay. Um, he might die to this. Let's see. Okay, now 83k. That's fine. Oof, well, we are skirting around the uh, the lowest of the lows HP here. Um, if the AoE is in slot one, that could be a problem. But otherwise, we might be all good. Of course, it's in slot one. Um, all right, well, we'll do this. Do this. I mean, I suppose I could just use the other item and basically guarantee. This should hopefully guarantee that we see the next turn. I mean, if Gotenks doesn't dodge the AoE, he does carry over defense from the previous turn, and we have the Emma, so... Okay, good, we got the dodge. Probably didn't need the item then, really, because... Uh, Ultima Gohan will kill. Although, again, Future Gohan pre-Super can still take damage from Zamasu, but... Physical Ulma Gohan gonna finish him off here. But now we get to see the Tech Gohan that's actually gotten some stacks versus Tech Zamasu, which is really what we're here for. So, let's see. What are we up to here now? We can transform if we want. We're at 575k defense with all in the family active here. Um, all the videos I've been using him in so far, I've never really gotten to see him instantly on turn one get that hit. So, I'm going to get that. We're at 771. So, we pick up Saiyan Warrior Race as well, which gives a little bit of extra. So, that's good. Uh, then we can grab these. Drop this down. It's very possible that future Gohan could get killed here, but I'm very intrigued to see what Gohan is going to do on this turn, Tech Gohan. So, take the hit, double digits of course, and then 9.4 million. Because we got hit first, we were effective against all types, and we should be getting a crit as well. Um, so, decent damage, and then we jump up to 9.9. .9. So yeah, I mean, Tech Gohan, I, normally you would stack as long as you can. Um, but considering how this run has been going so far, or the runs, plural, have been going so far, I thought it would be interesting to get him transformed. Remember, his super attack effect stacks for three turns. So, if we get back to this rotation again, uh, his defense is going to be pretty insane. Um, oh, he just gets the dodge. I really wanted to see him take that, because I'm... Does he eat that for double digits? 770k start of turn, and then a 50% defense raise three times, and then guard. I think he probably does um, eat that for double digit damage. But if not, it's certainly not a lot, right? So that's pretty good. And then uh, Sword of Hope Trunks really need to get additional supers here, otherwise he can be fraudulent. Don't know why I even said it. Bruh, three additional normals. Four additional, is he just dead? Four additional normal attacks, 440k. What a loser. All right, well, Tech Gohan, there's all the attempts for today. So Tech Gohan, double hybrids team. I mean, Gohan, very good against Fusion Zamasu. The rest of the team, it's a bit wonky. Um, but yeah, Tech Gohan himself, still an absolute GOAT. Considering Zamasu, probably toughest turn one, like, in boss. And with those AoEs as well, Gohan certainly does perform very well. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Let me know. Try out double hybrids versus Zamasu. If you beat it, let me know how you got on and what your team build was. But yeah, Gohan, still a beast. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the uh, merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.